would expect it when it dies. And it's the same way with your loved one, you know, when they're in hospice and they die and you know it's coming, but it's still a huge shock and that's what we feel right now. We're all so shocked and so sad. I'm at the hospital dying. just losing a hospital. I mean, this is a huge hub of our entire community, and it's our little community out in the middle of nowhere, but we need this. The nearest hospital south is Las Vegas. It's 210 miles away. The nearest hospital north is Hawthorne, which is 90 miles away, which is basically a small hospital like us. They don't offer anything more. In order to get to trauma, it's four hours north, and I know we've saved a lot of lives and I don't know what's gonna happen. So I, I really felt grateful to be able to come back one last time, say goodbye to a few people in the community, um, all of our staff here, excellent nurses, administrative personnel, and providing coverage for anything that walks through the door, be it a heart attack or trauma on the highway. It's a hard-working community. These people work in the mines, and they also work at the Nevada test site. And we have a fair amount of tourists, since this is halfway between Las Vegas and Reno. So it's a frequently touristed and, and transited area for people going to the Sierras from Las Vegas, going up to Reno, to Lake Tahoe. Now, the last 24 hours has been sort of full of emotion for all of us. Um, saying our goodbyes and just hoping that at some point with some drastic measures that you know the hospital will rise from the ashes like the legendary phoenix you know and we'll be able to provide care for the hard-working people in the community your status there was a birthday party out in round mountain and one brother shot another brother in the left arm the bullet went through the arm and into the chest. They were looking for the right dressing. They couldn't find it. So until they could find one, I gloved up and had to stick my finger in the bullet hole until we could put a chest tube in. So I was standing there for a good 15 minutes with my finger in an open bullet wound in a chest. He lived, and it's because of us. I mean, he wouldn't have. It didn't pierce his heart, but it pierced his lung. And there's no way he would have made it without us doing that. And in part because I stuck my finger in his, in his bullet wound in his chest. I mean, we helped save him. If it doesn't get better after taking the antibiotics, make sure you can get in to either the clinic care or another primary care somewhere. Um, yeah, I say come back here, but that's not gonna be an option.